Hello. I am the storyteller. And today we will talk about Marseille. Marseille is a city that has its own unique culture and is proud of its differences from the rest of France. Today it is a regional center for culture and entertainment with an important opera house, historical and maritime museums, five art galleries and numerous cinemas, clubs, bars and restaurants. Marseille has a large number of theaters, including La Crie, Le Gymnase and the Théâtre Tursky. There is also an extensive art center in La Friche, a former match factory behind the Chancharles station. The Alcazar, until the 1960s a well-known music hall and variety theater, has recently been completely remodeled behind its original facade and now houses the central municipal library. Other music venues in Marseille include La Silo and Grimm. Marseille has also been important in the arts. It has been the birthplace and home of many French writers and poets, including Victor Gellou, Valère Bernard, Pierre Bertus, Edmond Rostand, and André Roussan. The small port of Lestake on the far end of the Bay of Marseille became a favorite haunt for artists, including Auguste Renoir, Paul Cézanne, Georges Braque and Raoul Dufy. Although the city is not without crime, Marseille has a larger degree of multicultural tolerance. Urban geographers say the city's geography, being surrounded by mountains, helps explain why Marseille does not have the same problems as Paris. Residents of Marseille are of diverse origins, yet appear to share a similar particular identity. Another example is how Marseille responded in 2005, when ethnic populations living in other French cities' suburbs rioted, but Marseille remained relatively calm. Marseille served as the European capital of culture for 2013 along with Košice. One of the intentions of highlighting culture is to help reposition Marseille internationally, stimulate the economy, and help to build better interconnection between groups. Marseille Provence 2013 featured more than 900 cultural events held throughout Marseille and the surrounding communities. The European capital of culture was also the occasion to unveil more than 600 million euros in new cultural infrastructure in Marseille and its environs, including the Mu-Chem designed by Rudy Ricciotti. Early on, immigrants came to Marseille locally from the surrounding Provence region. Marseille became one of Europe's busiest port by 1900. Marseille has served as a major port where immigrants from around the Mediterranean arrive. Marseille continued to be multicultural. In the 1930s, Italians settled in Marseille. In 1962, a number of French colonies gained their independence, and the French citizens from Algeria, Morocco, and Tunisia arrived in Marseille. Multicultural Marseille can be observed by a visitor at the market at Noailles, also called Marché des Capuchins, an old town near the old port. The most commonly used tarot deck takes its name from the city, it has been called the Tarot de Marseille since the 1930s, a name coined for commercial use by the French card maker and cardomancer Paul Marteau, owner of BP Grimaud. Previously this deck was called Tarot Italian and even earlier it was simply called Tarot. Before being de Marseille, it was used to play the local variant of Taraki before it became used in cardomancy at the end of the 18th century, following the trend set by Antoine Court de Gevelin. The name Tarot de Marseille was used by contrast to other types of tarot such as Tarot de Bezosson, those names were simply associated with cities where there were many card makers in the 18th century. Another local tradition is the making of Santon, small handcrafted figurines for the traditional Provençal Christmas crèche. Since 1803, starting on the last Sunday of November, there has been a Santon fair in Marseille. It is currently held in the Cour des Tiendorves, a large square off the Vieux-Pour. Marseille's main cultural attraction was, since its creation at the end of the 18th century and until the late 1970s, the Opéra. Located near the Old Port and the Canebier, at the very heart of the city, its architectural style was comparable to the classical trend found in other opera houses built at the same time in Lyon and Bordeaux. In 1919, a fire almost completely destroyed the house, leaving only the stone colonnade and peristyle from the original façade. The classical façade was restored and the opera house reconstructed in a predominantly Art Deco style, as the result of a major competition. Currently the Opéra de Marseille stages six or seven operas each year. Since 1972, the Ballet National de Marseille has performed at the Opera House, its director from its foundation to 1998 was Roland Petty. Bouillabaisse is the most famous seafood dish of Marseille. It is a fish stew containing at least three varieties of very fresh local fish, typically red resgas, sea robin, and European conger. It can include gilt head bream, turbot, monkfish, mullet, or silver hake, and it usually includes shellfish and other seafoods such as sea urchins, mussels, velvet crabs, spider crab, plus potatoes and vegetables. In the traditional version, the fish is served on a platter separate from the broth. The broth is served with ruya, a mayonnaise made with egg yolk, olive oil, red bell pepper, saffron, and garlic, 
spread on pieces of toasted bread, or croutes. In Marseille, Mouya base is rarely made for fewer than 10 people. The more people who share the meal, and the more different fish that are included, the better the bouillabaisse. base. Aioli is a sauce made from raw garlic, lemon juice, eggs and olive oil, served with boiled fish, hard-boiled eggs and cooked vegetables. Anchovy aid is a paste made from anchovies, garlic, and olive oil, spread on bread or served with raw vegetables. Barit is a soup made with white fish and aioli. Fugas is a flat Provençal bread, similar to the Italian focaccia. It is traditionally baked in a wood oven and sometimes filled with olives, cheese or anchovies. Nevet de Marseille are, in the words of food writer MFK Fisher, little boat-shaped cookies, tough dough tasting vaguely of orange peel, smelling better than they are. Farinata hash French variations is chickpea flour boiled into a thick mush, allowed to firm up, then cut into blocks and fried. Pastis is an alcoholic beverage made with aniseed and spice. It is extremely popular in the region. Piepeques is a dish prepared from sheep's feet and offal. Pistu is a combination of crushed fresh basil and garlic with olive oil, similar to the Italian pesto. The soup au pistu combines pistu in a broth with pasta and vegetables. Tapenade is a paste made from chopped olives, capers, and olive oil.